Doy ahora la palabra al distinguido representante de International Federation for Family Development. Distinguished Chair, I'm Alex Vasquez, representing the International Federation for Family Development, present in 66 countries and advocating for family policies to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. We're committed to make the UN a better instrument for sustainable development, and so we need a stronger and with more legitimacy, especially with an inclusive decision process with NGO perspectives. For that, allow me to point out some examples of where the civil society contributions at the UN can be better heard and included. First, access to adequate context for better engagement with the UN system. For example, right now we don't have access to contact details of staff members through ISIC or UMOJA. My organization has sent a question to NGO branch that has not been answered yet on how this situation hampers the work of many NGOs pursuing Article 71 of the UN Charter. Second, the extremely complicated and costly process of allocating the conference room at the UN to raise awareness of key topics. For example, my federation just organized a 90 minutes event to observe the World Cities Day in October 2022 resulting in a BCSS bill of $785 and a security fee of $280. Third, and lastly, the very access to the UN and calendar meetings. For example, NGOs were not allowed to the first scheduled meetings of the third committee sessions this year and are constantly required to be in possession of secondary passes in an open and transparent institution as the UN. When the role of the institutions like the UN are needed the most, we should be committed to work for their legitimacy and effectiveness. Please let us work together to achieve the 2030 Agenda. Thank you, Chair. Doy las gracias al distinguido representante de International Federation for Family Development por su declaración.